first of all, thank you very much, both of you. The film is about so many things, but mm. I'm going to ask you, because I'm Mexican, the yeah. film is also political. Yeah. I mean, the movie is political insofar as we follow a family that's isolated from a greater society and then goes out to the society and is reflecting on, uh, on it. Uh, I think the movie is, uh, it's not a polemic. I'm not trying to um, make political statements, but I think it, it's, it's a discussion about the state of our country uh, through, the, through the, the eyes of this family. I think this movie does say in the end, it's important to be open to changing your mind mm -hmm. and to have a dialogue and to finding a new balance yeah. but you cannot do that if you don't listen yeah. mm -hmm. if you don't communicate yes. you know? so it's a pro communication movie even yeah. though it's not an ideological right. or political movie mm -hmm. it's about people finding a new balance individually and as a group each it's day pro communication it, and pro Vigo Mortensen yeah <laughs> very much as a father yeah it, well, it's another perspective, for example, the, the issue of the education. Do you even talk with your parents about what has happened with you making this film? Yeah. Yes, I think for sure. I mean, uh, after I came out of the film, I was had a complete new motivation and determination to be more intelligent and to be smarter and to learn about the world and history and literature. And since the film, I've read so many books and I've just been so much more interested in the world and I've taken... I've taken my focus from just social life and my phone to like just looking at the world around me and being yep. present. Um, so yeah, I've definitely talked to my parents about it because it's, it's been something that's been so amazing. And I think my parents too have gotten something out of the film as parents, like you said, yep. as a father and um, as a mother, you learn so much from the film. I think, I think young adults and adults, especially parents, can get a lot out of the film. Sure. I think, yeah, as, as Sammy said, there's so many people who would be affected by this movie but I think the main um, people who would be is uh, you know older teens such as us um, and parents you know it's um, it's a technically it's basically pretty much a story of uh, um, <laughs> a story of uh, uh, you know parents and how they want to raise their children you know there's there's different ways of raising their children and I don't think anyone really knows the right way to be honest like it's there's uh, there's different ways and there's different ways of living but you know I don't think there's a like a proper way to raise your children and I think that's why people still experiment well we ha my parents and I haven't really talked about the uh, the experience of filming this movie itself but the effects of that uh, just being out in nature for so long and forming these relationships with the cast but also being exposed to a certain type of lifestyle that I've I've never lived before, completely secluded in the forest, but I feel like each and every person involved in the movie got something out of it, and I, I mean, I can say for myself and for us, like our lives were changed for the better. Yeah, sure. How do you change as a kid, as a young man, to read this script in your relationships, or making this film with your relationship right now for, with your parents? Now, me and Shri live together in a house. At our parents met and they fell in love and now we live together. Really? Yeah. Okay. So this, that kind of changed. That, it, that's a huge change. <laughs> yes. I guess my, my parents that didn't... I guess my attitudes to my parents changed in, in terms of... Um, I kind of really... It helped me realize that I wanted to sort of, sort of make steps to move as well to sort of move on as well in terms of like it's wonderful you get to go from bubble to bubble when you're when you're working and it's that's so it that's so special but I think I kind of realized that I need to do something at home that, that kind of moved me on a bit a bit more a bit like Bodovan did so I think that just a kind of an ex sort of acceptance of that probably is something that I took and then that obviously that kind of those kind of shifts um, are reflected in sort of my relationship with my parents which is a which is a really positive one but it's just kind of I wanted to just I think I just confirmed my independence basically <laughs> after after this you know <laughs> the most wonderful parts of making this film for you oh this is easy for me. um I loved the two weeks before we had two weeks of training where we did archery climbing practice yoga classes and um a two-day boot camp where we learned how to to build a fire with nothing but a knife, build a shelter and sleep in it, track down animals by their 
their feces and footprints, make animal traps, just stuff like, just like survival things. I, it was kind of hard for me to be away from my family, but I'm gonna maybe have to say leaving the Washington woods. That was <laughs> one of my the hardest things. <laughs> for you? I think, um, I think just there's, there's the logistics that I think the beauty of what Matt's created is hopefully you get this very sort of free, uh, flowing, flowing film, but just the, the simple, the logistics of like filming on a bus and all of that business was actually really difficult for the team. You know, you got to lock the camera down. You can only shoot certain angles. There's limited light and all that kind of thing. So I think just the logistics, which weren't necessarily hard for us, but just in terms of for the, the process of making the film, that was probably the hardest bit is trying to get what we needed to get done in the time that we did with all the sort of physical constraints. But like emotionally and like, we had a great time, so <laughs> we, we were always in a good spot, you know? Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Very much.